are going. This is the Lost Manjula Bridge over the Ganges River here in Rishikesh, northern India. And I'm headed that way, up the Ganges, into the Himalayas. Today is December 4th, 2017, and it's gonna be cold up there. But I'm ready for it and excited for the adventure of finally getting out of Rishikesh. I got a bus to catch, so uh, I will be explaining more about what's going on in this video. Here we go. Hello. Bus stand, how much? How much? Kidna? 150. No, no, less than that. 80 rupees. 150. I paid 100 to uh, Lakshman Jula. 100. 150. No, I, I tried tempo. 100. Okay. Uttar Kashi? Uttar Kashi. Just wait. This time no. Not, not yet. Just wait. Okay, it could be a long wait here. This is it. Leaving in 10 minutes. I am so stoked. When I talked to that first guy and he said, uh, you know, like, it's not here and uh, not going or whatever, I was like, crap, maybe I missed it. The bus is only leaving in the morning. It is almost 10 o'clock now and fortunately this is leaving at 10 o'clock in 10 minutes it was a different uh, bus stand just you know 100 uh, meters up the road it's the private bus stand i guess anyways we're rocking and rolling real soon here Yeah, Himalaya! Himalayan traffic jam!
ਤੇ ਨੀ ਮਰ ਜਾਉ ਨੇ ਕਿ ਆ ਜਾ ਨੀ ਮਰ ਜਾਉ ਨੇ ਕਿ ਹੈ
These are Chardam, Chardam temples. Gangatri, Kedarnath, Bajranath. Uh, uh, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. But Gangatri, not, Gangatri, Yamanatri, uh, Badrinath, Kedarnath, yeah. Bajranath. Yeah. Chardam uh, pilgrimage in the Himalayas. And I'm heading in that direction. I don't know if I'll actually get to that temple in the course of this uh, trip, but we'll see. So the uh, town of Utrakashi is kind of down the road there, but this is it spreading up onto this hill here. The Himalayas are going further back up that way. As you can see, starting to get dark here. And here's my room. Made it. Oh yeah. I'm paying 480 rupees, which is about $8. Nice paying there. A pretty uh, typical Indian hotel room here. Even got a uh, TV, attached bathroom, supposedly hot water. I will be finding out in a minute when I uh, try to take a shower. And so I just wanted to add a little bit of context to this uh, adventure here because I didn't get the chance to explain on the uh, bus ride getting up here. That was about seven hours. And so as I mentioned that I had been here before, I was here 10 years ago. So this area of India is the state of Uttarakhand. Uttarakhand used to be part of Uttar Pradesh, which is a uh, very large state of uh, India here in sort of northern India, but here is going more uh, into the true north of India. And Uttarakhand is mostly in the Himalaya mountains. As I mentioned when I was showing those pictures of the uh, temples, it is called the Chardam pilgrimage to uh, these four different temples that are back up in the Himalaya mountains. And Hindus try to go and uh, visit those temples. I don't know the exact like specifics about it, but they try to uh, visit you know all four of them, or maybe just one of them, or whatever. And so these temples are all just like smack up in the middle of the uh, Himalayas. I've never actually been to any of the temples before, but I have been up into this area of the uh, Himalayas in Uttarakhand previously. This is actually my fourth time going up here on different bus trips to different parts of the uh, Himalayas here. And I've been up to this area once before, to uh, Uttarakashi here, and then to Gangnani. Gangnani is basically sort of a nothing little uh, stop along the road going up to Gangotri, which is the source of the Ganges River, and also where one of those uh, temples is. Gangnani doesn't look like much from the road, but there are hot springs there that are really nice. And there is uh, a lodge right next to the hot springs that I stayed at the last time I was up here. I stayed there for five days and just like hung out, hiked around, soaked in the hot springs. And so I'm basically repeating repeating that trip this time, 10 years later, so pretty awesome. I will uh, try to get to that same spot tomorrow. Tomorrow, then I will uh, catch a bus up to Gangnani, or it might have to be like a taxi or something. We'll see, that's what I had to do the last time. Buses only went so far, and then you had to catch a uh, taxi the rest of the way. And then that is like much further up into the uh, mountains, and it feels much more remote. And so I don't know exactly what to expect, if the lodge will still be there, if the hot springs will still be working. I have done like no research other than just decided I'm going for it, gonna head back up there, get a real taste of the Himalayas before I leave India. I'm leaving India in nine days, so I have a week or so to play around in the Himalayas. I'm now going to uh, take a hot shower, hopefully, relax for a bit, and then go find some dinner. And I will finish this video giving a little taste of Uttarakashi. It's gonna be dark by the time I get out there um, and uh, show my dinner. Hello, Namaste. Yeah. All right, so I'm uh, all like showered up and feeling a lot better. There's some cool paintings up on that uh, wall there of like Shiva and the Himalayas and stuff. Can't really see much because it's dark, but you can see there's a market going on here. And I'm trying to find a decent restaurant. It's awesome to be off the tourist trail. I have seen no other foreigners since I left Rishikesh and probably won't see any, especially since it's December. You can see the fires burning.
You take my This guy is hungry, I guess. Oh, you big man. How are you, Matthew? You take hold of me. आएंगे रोटी रोटी दे दो रोज आती हूँ So Uttaranchal is this region of India. So here is where I started, Rishikesh, and we went up here, Chamba, took a break there, up here, Uttarakashi. And I'm headed next to Gangnadi up here. And up here is Gangatri. The source of the Ganges River is up here. One of these temples that I was talking about, one of the four temples, that's it there. And that's it there. Gangatri. Yamanatri is another temple over here. Kedarnath. So that is the four uh, temples. Okay. And Auli is a ski resort up near one of the temples, and I've actually been up there and been up to the ski resort, but there wasn't any snow at the time. It was like middle of December, and no snow had fallen, so it was all barren, but amazing views. I got here some grub, rice, mixed vegetable curry. Dal is a lentil curry and chapati. I'm just gonna dig in here, I'm starving. Alright folks, so uh, that meal there was just 125 rupees for the whole thing. Two dollars. Getting the good local prices here. Sorry you didn't get to see a little bit uh, more of Uttarkashi, but too dark. I will try my best to show some more tomorrow. That will be in the next video. Check the link down below for uh, a link to that video. That is going to be another whole amazing journey going from here further up into the Himalayas on a quest for some hot springs. All right, take it easy. More coming from incredible Himalayan India.